And of course, Ukraine is physically far from California, but there are some pretty close personal ties. Over the past two weeks, thousands of people have rallied at the state capitol and other sites. As KCRA3's Jason Marks tells us, for people with family members in Ukraine, this invasion has been terrifying. With all that's brewing in Ukraine, everything is fresh. It's hard for Nina Getman to focus on work. It's so scary, honestly. Getman, who was born in Ukraine, opened her Folsom coffee shop nine months ago. Just a regular latte. It's now providing a recipe for relief for her friends and family back home. Well, we're praying, we're trying to get food, we're trying to help in any, any ways. Gedman has constantly been in touch with family members. They're bombing it. To be honest, this is like, it was like nightmare. Last two weeks, it was probably the worst time in my life. Some of them who find themselves in the line of fire. One of my aunts, she was in the bathroom for four days, no food, nor water, because she is from Kharkiv and they were bombing the, it heavily and it was burning all around so when the siren started she didn't have a time to run away and they are collecting snow to thaw this water and have something to drink here. Technology has helped Getman keep tabs on loved ones though she no longer recognizes her native country. That's not good. It's hard to see isn't it? It's really hard to see that. Our beautiful Ukraine is now like Destroyed. She knows it'll take years to pick up the pieces. It's like heartbreaking because the Ukraine and the Ukrainian people, they don't deserve this. They do not deserve it. They didn't want this war. What hasn't been and won't be destroyed is the Ukrainian spirit and the longing for peace. I really hope, I really hope. We're praying like a lot every day, every night. We're praying so this war is ended soon. It's hard for all of us. It's hard for all of us. Hello. Hi, Tad. How are you? Just up the road from Folsom in Auburn. Are you guys still in Ukraine or Poland now? This is Dina Semedarov's new daily routine. Pain in heart. Mm -hmm. Making sure her family's safe, including her 65-year-old dad, Vladimir. Lots of new orphans, um, just peaceful people are under attack and not everybody can escape, uh, not everybody can leave the house. And it's very, the whole country has this big wound and uh, we're like, we're crying every day for help for God. This is all Samadarev can do as she watches in horror just like everyone else around the world. I'm constantly praying, praying for the war to stop, praying for these days to be shortened so not as many people will be struggling. Samadarev came to this country 22 years ago in search of a better life. Very hard to watch um, knowing how beautiful our country is. Um, thousands of years of history in there. A lot of nice churches uh, established established over 2,000 years ago are being under a bombing. It's very painful to watch. Those anxious moments are eased for a short time. So happy to hear that they're safe. With Vladimir's comforting voice on the other end. This part of the Ukraine is not affected by war uh, directly yet, so they're helping a lot. Uh, uh, humanitarian uh, aid sending to Ukraine, uh, to Kiev. This is video of Vladimir doing his part to help his countrymen and women. He, like so many Ukrainians, have no plans on backing down. Not as worried as my own safety because I lived life and I'm uh, satisfied. But uh, my kids and those who are young, they would have to um, live with this and um, it's going to take years and decades to recover. But Ukrainians are ready to start that recovery process. And do it, though, standing together. It's all can be rebuilt. But people's life are the most important thing at this point, I believe. Jason Marks. That, uh, wish you the best, and I'm praying for you guys, okay? Be safe. KCRA 3 News.